Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Mole Trap here, and I am very happy to be presenting you with a yet another StarCraft 2 commentary. And this is going to be a very exciting game. Very, very exciting game, I believe. Um, this one, I have not, uh, s you know, seen too much. You know, the past couple games I've seen were on replay sites, and they had comments that said, Oh my god, this game is great! And they were great games. And, um, anyways, with this one, I did get off, uh, Diggity is, uh, trying to have people go to sc 2 replays dot uh, reddit.com and use that to kind of supply replays and then people can vote up replays that they like in order to get them some exposure and then that's how we can find good replays. I've also been going to just, you know, uh, gamereplays.org and uh, gosukgamers.net and going to their, their replay sites. Anyway, this one I found off the Reddit site though and it is um, supposedly two pro gamers, Korean pro gamers from Brood War uh, matched up against each other here in StarCraft 2. This guy, uh, SKS, as I'm going to refer to him, I think OGS or OGSS is the clan, um, is supposedly, purportedly, Tester, uh, the, the Korean professional gamer who was never really on like the top, top level of the game, but, um, you know, was on a professional team and, and at the I mean, if you're on a professional team, that puts you, even if you're not on the top of the professional team scene, it puts you above all but about 200 players in the world, basically. Um, so Tester very on a, on a high level, uh, in regards to the fact that he didn't exactly achieve fame in the Brood War scene. Uh, anyway, and he's playing up against someone who, if this is actually them, uh, Fanta Prime is supposedly July Zerg, uh, who recently did officially announce his switch to StarCraft 2. So it is very, very uh, possible that this is July Zerg, and so we're gonna have to see uh, what happens between, at the very least, two high-level Korean players. We've got a drone and a uh, probe duking it out here. Uh, it looks like the drone is almost dead. 12 health down to that for that drone. He's going to run back in here. The probe is down to 5 hit points as well, so he actually needed to do the running. And we've got this um, drone patrolling. I think he should probably just go kill the probe at this point. Wow, the, actually the shields regenerate hecka fast on that. Never mind. Back up to 20 shields already. Um, anyway, the drone marching back and forth here to stop pylons from being put down at the bottom of the ramp, keeping any, which would then keep reinforcements from coming to protect the expansion. Here we got a first zealot, which was chrono boosted out. I know that because I've had some technical problems, and this is like the fifth time I've started this game. Uh, hopefully it goes okay this time. Anyway, the zealot has been chrono boosted out. It's going to start running over here and trying to harass uh, this drone over here. And is the drone going to, no, the drone's going to go around the other side, and collect those minerals and it's just running back and forth I like the micro hitting the the hatchery a couple times might as well get a couple hits in while they're chasing the drone around but some zerglings are about to come down here and uh, go to work they go down the probe first Zealot is trying its best to to fight this off it gets into a nice little gap here where only two zerglings can attack it but it's still been pretty badly hurt it's gonna go down takes out an extra zergling as well in the meantime um, but anyway I'm, I'm really curious to see two Koreans playing regardless two high level Korean players um, regardless of that, um, since, um, you know, things might be played a little bit different on the Korean server. Some people talk about how it's pl things are played differently there. Uh-oh, these Zerglings going to see what's going on are going to get caught by this Stalker and, and Zealot, and they're going to have to run away. Uh, loses a Zergling, might lose another one. Uh, one more hit. Oh, might get away. It looks like it is going to get away. Uh, this little Zergling up here sees all, knows all. You can see this uh, tower gives him sight of this whole area here, so you can see this entire area out to both um, high yields, basically. Anyway, yeah, it seems to me I, you know, haven't been watching a ton of replays, but I did watch some of the uh, GSL the other day, the GOM TV um, Star League, I guess, um, the StarCraft II League that's that's going on, huge, huge um, open tournament, and um, it seems like at the high level the Korean players um, were playing. Uh, basically a little bit differently. They're playing kind of Brood War style, it, it seemed to me, going a little bit more towards like tech and, you know, precise builds to get certain tech out and stuff like that. Um, a lot like you would see professional gamers play. So very interesting to see that that kind of play. It seems like, and I ha again, I haven't watched a ton, so I could be completely wrong about this, to be honest with you, but it seems like it hasn't been quite that much from what I've been experiencing uh, in the... Um, the other replays that I've been seeing and the VODs that I've been seeing from from quote-unquote foreign gamers, the non-Korean gamers. Um, so nice little um, army out here. I like what uh, GKS Harry has here. He's got these three sentries out very early, um, which are going to be useful 
and fending off any attacks if there's many, any zergling attacks or anything like that. Um, and also, they're going to be very useful for... Since he's got them early, they're going to be saving up energy. Oh, these Zerglings are going to sneak in. Oh, there's one Zealot's trying to hold the line. Oh, and the Force Field traps that those Zerglings in with that Zealot. The Zealot is holding that one little gap. Beautifully done. And in the meantime, the Stalkers and Sentries come up and slaughter those Zerglings from the back. That was a beautiful play. Totally Gosu play by SKS. Um, and Fanta loses a good clump of Zerglings there. He's uh, moving his spine crawlers around a little bit, resetting them up here. Um, you can see um, casting down those creep tumors, trying to spread out his creep highway uh, more towards the enemy. Uh, and here comes some more Zerglings out. He's repositioned both of his spine crawlers here. Uh oh, speed Zerglings are in the mix. The Stalkers headed out a little bit ahead of time, and he uses a force field to try and force those. Wow, and he actually kind of, I'm not sure what happened there, almost like it glitched because the uh, Stalker was stuck in between the force fields there and managed to save that Stalker. Look at that, eight hit points on that Stalker due to some elite Gosu um, force fields there. Just very, very clutch on uh, on the part of um, SKS. Fanta's moving out here with a lot of Zerglings, though. He knows those uh, sentries are a little bit low on health. He surrounds one of them, and this does look very July Zerg, actually. The use of these speed Zerglings is very July Zerg-esque. He's moving in here. He's trying to get a surround on these units. Doesn't get too much of a surround. Surrounds the whole army, but not any particular unit. And now he's going to come in here. Uh-oh. Um, trying to do some more harassment. A couple more units warping in at just the right moment. A single Zealot is going to be a good meat shield at the last second as well. And we see a probe. Uh-oh. Probe running around is rallying over. Okay, basically you can see where the rallies are in, in this. He's rallied to the different bases to see uh, if uh, Fanta has any extra expansions out, basically. Anyway, look at this. So we've got two hatcheries. One is a lair, of course. I haven't checked the tech in a while. Uh oh Spire is up. Let's see if he's making any... Oh, I've got these tabs. I forgot about that. Making seven mutalisks at the moment. Um, so a bunch of mutas are coming out. I like these um, spine crawlers. Zerg's players have been using spine crawlers a lot more. Um, in Brood War, they seemed like, uh, you know, sort of just like a, a, a last-ditch thing. You, you really, really needed them. And I've been seeing a lot of Zerg players in StarCraft 2 get a few spine crawlers at their front just because. Just to provide some defense and give them some uh, support instead of just a last-minute thing. Partly because they do take so long to build.